Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So in this video, uh, we will discuss about uh, what happens if we operate a 60 hertz transformer on 50 hertz supply source and vice versa. So uh, a few of the students have asked this question. So I am trying to answer this question with the help of an example. So uh, let's uh, look at an example with the transformer ratings given as uh, V is equal to uh, <clears throat> 5 kilo volt R is 6.1 ohm and L is the inductance which is 0 0.3 Henry and uh, frequency is 60 Hertz so uh, we know the basic relation that uh, XL the reactance of the uh, inductance is equal to 2 pi FL so the secret actually lies within this uh, uh, relation so we will uh, use this relation to find out these things so for XL for these relations are is equal to 2 into pi F is uh, here 60 and uh, L is given as 0 0.3 so this comes out to be approximately 113.1 ohms and we uh, can find the impedance Z is equal to uh, R square plus XL square square root so that would be approximately uh, 6.1 square plus uh, <coughs> Plus this one, 113, 113.1 uh, square square root, and this comes out to be approximately 113.26 uh, ohm. Now, uh, <coughs> as we know that uh, I is equal to V over Z, uh, so so here we know that uh, we have V is 5 kilo volt and Z is 113.26 and this current is approximately 44.14 ampere. Now if we put the same transformer on a 50 hertz supply what will happen? This is the simple relation so that's, uh, let's look at it for 50 hertz. So XL will be simply changed 2 pi FL. So it will be 2 into pi into 50 into and rest of the things are same. Only the frequency is changing. So it will be approximately 94.245 ohm. And then Z impedance will be simply R square plus XL square. And uh, that will be approximately 94.44 ohms similarly here this i will be v over z and uh, v is same 5 kilo ohm sorry 5 kilo volt divided by 94.44 ohms and this is 52.94 ampere now here with this very simple basic relation uh, we can understand that what happens uh, with the if the transformer is designed for 60 Hertz and if we try to operate it on the 50 Hertz we can clearly see that the current has increased current has increased by approximately uh, 8 amperes approximately so that is a huge current that could be a, if it is a big transformer that could be a very huge current that are flowing uh, that, will, that will heat them up and that can even cause them uh, damage so that's why it's not uh, uh, wise to use the 60 hertz transformer on the 50 hertz but if we go in the opposite way so with the using the same relation we can see that if we increase the frequency the impedance will be increased and as the impedance will be increased the current will be reduced so 50 hertz transformer if the transformer is designed for 50 hertz power supply it can be used with the 60 hertz uh, 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 60 hertz uh, uh, supply 
and uh, it will not warm up it will stay cool even the low less current will be flowing through it i hope you have understood why uh, what happens with the frequency to the transformer if you still have any questions feel free to ask me assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh